All right, dudes, this is Crown Royale number one. Triple team tiered, eight box half. Caser, good luck to you and yours. Ten times. Tier one. Yeah, dude, I had that um, root canal done just a couple hours ago this afternoon. I'm not going to be here all night. Well, the surgery went well, but it's after the Novocaine wears off, it's the worst. So I'm going to get out of here as soon as I do all these crown breaks. I thought after you get the process done, it goes away. It doesn't because there's an infection. So you have to wait for the infection to die out with your antibiotics. It's not like a cavity. Once they fill a cavity, the cavity, you know, the pain's gone. So I figured I'd come in here. Sitting around the house makes it worse because you're not doing anything. At least this takes my mind off it. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to roll through this stuff. No game for the soul. Before I talk her out. The eels, dude. The eels. So yeah, there's nothing more I would have liked to have done than take these uh, um, Vic not Vicodin. What they give me today for the surgery? Um, stuff that makes you mellow. A pill. What the hell is that stuff called? Valiums. Take these Valiums and just go to bed. No, no, I didn't. I didn't want any of those. I'm just taking like massive Advil and Tylenols. All right, there you go, dudes. Half a case, Crown Royale. Before I got around, yeah, Valium. No again. Before I talk around. Or whatever they say. No, we can't. What the hell's in here? Oh, she gave me some Advil. And what are these? Valium. <laughs> I'm going to take some Valium on the air. That ought to be fun. I know she gave me her number somewhere around here. These are Advils. All right. I could. I'd have to go into the city limits, but. Yes, I'll be adding Vikes to the break. I mean.
So here, just this is from the So You Thought You Had a Crazy Day Day. Check out this fun day. You guys might appreciate this. So I knew I had my, uh, uh, my brain's all messed up. Root canal appointment today, right? So I get there early because they said the schedule changed. So I'm like, oh, cool. I can get in there early, like at 11. It'll be done by 12. I can be back to work by 1 or 2. I get in there. And they're taking a good old time. It's like, okay, you could take this Valium. And then we got to wait like an hour. Monitor to you. I'm like, it's too little Valium. So I take the two Valium and I'm good. She come in. She does the process. Takes about an hour, hour and a half. They don't let you drive. And my wife could not take me. Because my son, they have been sick all week. Both of my kids were home from school just about all week. Well, both of them were home all week. One or the other. So my wife had some big appointments today, some listing appointments and a luncheon. So her mom came over to watch my son. So I had to Uber out to the dentist. This is 15 minutes up the road. So I Uber to the dentist. I get there. And they do the operation and I'm done. But I forgot I was listening to music in my headphones or ESPN or something on Hulu while they're doing the uh, operation. The root canal. Well, that killed my battery. So afterwards, I, I had about 1% left. So I call Uber and I see it. And I hit the thing that says, you know, I'm ready. Come get me. And the phone died. I'm outside waiting. The phone dies. So I'm like, I don't know if it went through or not. Did it go through? I don't know. I can't get my phone back on. So I go back inside. I'm like, hey, does somebody have one of these Samsung freaking charger things, please? And the girls are looking all around and all they have were Apple phone chargers. So I can't get my phone back on. Meanwhile, I just want to get back here. I just want to get home. Just want to get out of the dentist office. So I end up walking two blocks to a cell phone store, little corner joint. And I get to the cell phone store, and the dude's like, "Yeah, I can charge your phone for you, buddy." So he charges my phone up for me. I buy like a twelve-dollar item just to say thanks. Charge my phone up, get Uber. I come back here. I realize that the product was delivered today. But because of all the madness going on, I forgot to leave the check at the house for the product. So they're like, dude, we're here. Where's the check? I said, I forgot to leave you the check. It's at the shop. So they said, don't worry. Just send it. It'll get here on Monday. No problem. I'm like, all right. So I come back here. I go to print the label to send the check. And Tommy had packed up all of the shipping stuff already for Dallas. The whole printer label, all the wires and everything. So I'm like, well, I'll just print it to PDF in here and print it. Well, it wouldn't work. The connected printer wasn't connecting. <laughs> so I had to. I'm standing and my face is throbbing. So I had to unpack. Well, Tommy unpacked the printer. And we plugged the printer back in. We're like, okay, no problem. Let's print this label real quick. I got to get it out in the mail so they have it Monday. Well, it wasn't connecting. Port's not realized. We're unplugging shit, trying to get it to work. Nothing works. I'm like, okay, this sucks. Let me tinker with it. So I'm tinkering around with it. I changed some settings. Finally, I hit it. Boop. Prints the label. Put the check inside of the thing for one day delivery here in Chicago. They'll get it Monday, no problem. Then I see a sticker on the table from UPS. I'm like, dude, what is this? He goes, oh, that was on the door. I said, UPS was here while I was gone? He goes, yeah, but they never came in. They always come in and nobody came in. I said, so they left the thing on the freaking door. So now that's all the Blitz Mix product and, and, uh, and Crown Royal and a bunch of stuff. Apparently, there was a new driver today. So I have to then stop and call UPS. All the while, my wife's texting me going, are you coming home? Because there's an event at the boys' school. It's Mother and Sunday at the school. I need you to come home so we can go to the school because Brixon's not going to go. He's not feeling well. <laughs> so I got my wife on one phone, UPS on the other. Oh. Uh. So I call UPS and they're like, you can come get it. Come get it, dude. It'll be here at the main packing center, but that packing center is like 30 minutes away. I said, I'm not driving 30 minutes. Can you call the driver? He calls the driver. I hear him. And driver says, no problem. I'll turn around. I'm about 10 minutes away. I'll take it back to him. So the driver turns around, comes in and brings me all the Blitz Mix stuff, all the other products. I'm like, thank you, dude, so much. He goes, hey, a sports card shop. This is pretty cool. Do you have any Dallas Cowboys? And I'm like, no, I don't really care for the Cowboys. I'm a Niners fan. He goes, well, I kind of have to like them because my little brother plays for the Cowboys. I said, I'm sorry, what? 
He said, my little brother plays for the Dallas Cowboys, the actual Dallas Cowboys. He's on the team. Turns out his brother is, oh my God, I texted it today. My brain's fried on 56 drugs. Um, but I recognized his brother's name. He showed me on his phone and everything. So the end of my story was, my UPS driver's brother plays for the Dallas Cowboys. So how's that story for a day? Here is a cracked ice. These are dope, man. Look at that. Cracked ice Kyle Lowry. Dalton. <laughs> Dalton Schultz. Yes. I can tell you guys by being here, I feel better already. Sitting at home, you just think about it and it's worse. I feel better sitting here talking and doing doing this already. Yeah, so Dalton Schultz was his brother. So I gave him my card. You never know what could happen. I brought him in here and showed him some videos of breaks. Are these numbered? These aren't numbered. They're just like a cracked ice, I guess. Or am I missing the number? I love these die cuts. 16 to 25, Fox, Bagley, and Buddy. Novocaine for the soul. Man, who mentioned that song? Da -da 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 -da. What's up, EOG? Before I sputter out. I'm going to check and see if the eels are YouTube approved. The chunky Brandon Clark. So I didn't get to put any of the breaks up. Oh, snap. On card Kobe. These are nice. 45 of 49. Lineage. Novocaine. It was just the best ever when I came back. And I'm like, oh, man, sorry I didn't leave the check. But I know I'm have a relationship. They're local. I said, we've done this before. I'll just send you a check priority. It gets there Monday morning because they're just a couple towns over. It's like, all right, no problem. Well, here I am trying to hook this printer up last minute before I miss you before I miss the mail. And a Jarrett. Just making sure I'm not missing any numbers and stuff. What's up, Danny F? I need a hero. There he is, John Morant. All right, I, mean, I didn't even see who got what. I'm sorry. <sighs> so, the Grizzos. Are for oh snap Martin Clark Friday night Anderson with the Lakers Matty Process Pelicans for John Stories a Pelican magnet here comes a cracked ice James Harden thing I like when they added this into the middle they didn't used to do that. Grant Williams, number to 99. Rookie royalty. Rui. Hashimura. Hashi. It's a Bruno Fernando rookie silhouettes prime. Someone can look up Bruno Fernando. I don't recall where he's at off the top of my head. I got my list over there, but I don't feel like reaching for it. Goga Beats. 
in a Rui. Rui. Looks like a dude's head with legs. What? The hell are you talking about? Oh, this little guy? <laughs> he does. I want to put two dots. Isaiah Thomas. Somebody let me decorate one of these common cards with the with a sharpie. We'll put we'll put uh we'll put eyes on them if somebody wants to sacrifice a, a common card. Lonzo. Yeah, they gave him some bling. It's pretty cool. Romeo. Romeo, Romeo, where art thou, Romeo? It looks like Chicken Little from Looney Tunes. Remember Chicken Little? Three hours. The cool thing about that card is that's a one of one. Thought it looked different. One of one. For the Nuggets. Paul Millsap. Yeah, these blue ones. Millsap. Nuggies. One of one. Martin Clark. Way to go, Marty. I definitely don't think he likes to call him when I call him Marty, but. Coat of arms. Guy Ree. Mifiando. On, oh, three of ten. Mifi. The Clips. Clippers. Nathan. So you guys know that, uh, speaking of Nathan Anderson, I pulled a Ja Morant Contenders Basketball. Not college. Contenders Basketball. Number 10 gold auto of Ja Morant. It got a 9-5-10 basically all the way across the board. It's the only one in existence with that such of a high grade. Proof you don't have to wear gloves. Well, I guess if I had gloves on, it would have been a black label. So, yeah. Damn, I should have wore gloves. There's a Nike heel. Now I'm seeing that dude, Chicken Little. Chris Paul and a Ty Jerome cracked ice thing. Probably one of those per box, it looks like. How's that other Prism Mixer doing? I'm going to do that tonight. That's a good break. You crazies. Number to 99. LeBron James. How do you get a 10? You got to have a perfect freaking card. Very difficult to get a, a black label 10. Unless you know somebody. Just kidding. 3 of 25, Nasir Little. I got jokes. Keldon and Kyle. Marvin Bagley the third. Hey, it's all it's all opinion, man. There's no real science or proof. It's all opinion. That's the beauty of it. I gave it a black label ten. It was my opinion. It's a ten. <laughs> Damien. Lord 
words of the court, the 25. Yeah, there's a lot of money tied up in those black labels, man. They're, they're pretty rare. Russell Westbrook. That's what I was just talking about. I pulled that card for him, Trexler. Willie, Cauley, Steen to 49. That's what I was saying. We pulled that in a break for him last week or two. I FedExed it to him. He sent it to Beckett. You got a dope Mahomes? Yes, you should. You should have done it by now because if he wins the Super Bowl, they're going to be busy. Here comes a kaboom. Who is the kaboom of? It's of Steph Curry. What's a what's a Zion kaboom sell for? Oh yeah 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 I did see that one, I did <laughs> I did see that one. Yes, I thought you meant his dope ass John Morant. He just got back. The base goes boom. Warriors, Warriors. Matthew the Pross man. Jarrett. Don't you think they can hold that person accountable? Like, don't you think a boss would see that, a supervisor, and be like, dude, how did you give this a 10 centering? Like, measure it. It's not centered. But you gave it a 10? 13 to 20, Robert Covington. Hi, J. Rye. getting into tonight you like that triple threads master big dog case jaron jackson and ty jerome there's a blue clay number to 99 warriors I don't know. More and more guys are starting to use CMC. Kings of the court. Giannis, Middleton, and Eric. <laughs> Dylan Windler. Hardly knew her. Some RJ Inc. 25 Knicks. Matt Prosser on a roll tonight. He loves it here. I think it's some other grading company that's been around forever. Oh, what are these? Oh, 75 disco dots. Hmm. 
comes a veteran auto. At least I hope it's an auto. And it is Robert Parrish to 10. Six of 10 for the Celts. Not the best pitcher of them. Look at him. Keenan. KB getting a little 10 spot. Robert Parrish. Kelvin and Aaron Gordon. I know we all do, man. It's why you never know. That's why guys like Jarrett Stidham, you're seeing, you know, demand for guys like Jarrett Stidham and Drew Locke. Because could they turn into a Patrick Mahomes type person? Player. Probably not. What's this? This is we got a box to go yet. Guess I only did seven. Hopefully that was seven. I did eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. I already did eight. I did eight. This must have been an extra one. Thought there was a half a case in there. Anybody want to buy this one? This one's already opened by I didn't open it open it yet, but you could buy that at whatever expensive ass price they are, $160. <laughs> 